Are we heading into a correction or is today's pullback just a blip on the screen? For one view, we head to Pittsburgh and Deborah Cunningham, Chief Investment Officer at Federated Investors. Deb, welcome to Street Smart. Thanks, Matt. Good to be here. Let me ask you, first of all, about uh, this three-day drag we've had in equities. Is it all linked to the dollar? I mean, is it all because of what we see happening with rates and currencies here? Um, not my area of expertise, but it seems like that's the case. Well, well, I mean, we were talking a little bit during the break about uh, the Fed's actions, what you expect from them, and the ECB uh, seems to be kind of gaining the most attention today. It seems to be having a huge effect on equities. I mean, why don't you tell us a little bit about your take on Jean-Claude Trichet's uh, more hawkish moves? Um, you know, ultimately, it seems as though uh, Europe lagged us going into this recessionary environment. To some degree, they may be leading us out of it. Um, we've already seen some of our, our global developed countries begin to raise rates um, almost a month ago now at this point. And it seems as though some of the rhetoric that we're hearing out of the ECB might point them in just that same direction. At the same time, you know, here in the U.S., James Bullard giving a speech the other day and suggesting that the Fed could wait until as late as 2012 to raise rates. I mean, does this juxtapose Ben Bernanke and Jean-Claude Trichet, or are they maybe on the same page in some other way? I think they're on the same page. They're just, it's a wait and see attitude at this point in time. And, and right now, as I said, I think Europe is leading out of the, the recession in a way that, um, you know, has the United States positioned a little bit more cautiously as far as uh, rate increases go. I think that ultimately, though, the market is going to lead us and that once we turn the calendar page into 2010, you're going to start to see anticipation from a market perspective and yield curves begin to go back up in anticipation of what might be mid-year events in the context of interest rates actually rising in the U.S. Deb, hasn't the ECB, though, traditionally been much more hawkish on inflation than the Fed? Absolutely. I mean, I wonder how much of uh, what they do can carry through to what we do. I mean, does it have at all a domino effect, or do, uh, does each central bank watch its own uh, economy more closely than it, than it does pay attention to the other? Each central bank is definitely independently operating and are much, is much more concerned about their own country's finances. On the other hand, it is a global economy that we're dealing with at this point in time, and the interest rate cycle that we're going through is a global one. Um, despite the fact that the U.S. may be focusing on very key items that Bernanke and the FOMC actually outlined after their last meeting, the fact of the matter is they're still tied to Europe, they're still tied to other developing or developed countries, and as such, um, the, the likelihood of moving uh, toward the same direction, maybe not always at the same pace or um, at the same timing. In fact, that seems to still be um, held together. What are, you know, I mean, what are the key items that Ben Bernanke is really watching? Can he see anything past 10.2 percent on uh, unemployment? Well, unemployment is a, is a lagging indicator. So, yeah, I think he has to see something uh, beyond that. I think he's looking at capacity uh, capacity rates. I'm th I think he's looking at overall inflation. I mean, as you said, the central bank of the country has to be concerned about what's happening from an inflationary perspective in their own country. So, yes, I think there's other keys, although ultimately employment and the unemployment situation as it stands today is, is a key uh, concern. Yeah, and I mean... We talk about Fed independence all the time, but to what extent is Ben Bernanke or the, uh, other Fed governors influenced by politics? We hope not at all. Um, obviously, the political equation is one that uh, is attempted to be mitigated through the process that we have with the Federal Reserve. Um, and, and I think for, from, a timing, from a time perspective over history, that's been validated for the most part. What do you take, though, from Ben Bernanke's mentioning of the dollar the other day? I mean, he hadn't mentioned it since June. People started clamoring for the Fed to do something or say really anything. And a lot of people have been saying, hey, they have a lot more power uh, here than Treasury. Well, I think to some degree you've seen um, a lot of the same out of Bernanke's rhetoric as well as the other members of the FOMC. So rates will remain low for an extended period of time. But by the same token, by them adding a few more factors in like the dollar and other others, um, that gives, I think, some uh, cover for ultimately raising rates from what are extremely low levels. I mean, at this point, even if they raise rates by 25 or 50 basis points, it's still very, very accommodative. What are some of the other moves, uh, Deb, in just about 30 seconds left that you expect major moves from the Fed? I mean, we hear the ECB is tightening collateral requirements. The Fed is shortening some of uh, the duration of its loans. What are some key moves you expect from the Fed as far as quantitative uneasing, if you will? 
Well, there's been lots of discussion about the Fed doing reverse repo um, with participants in the marketplace, uh, and that's something that we're hopeful uh, will come to, to fruition and are looking forward to that as a, as a means of uh, re removing some of the quantitative easing, easing that they have on their balance sheet at this point.